Hey everybody, it's Brian from Archaeus, and today we're going to be talking about removing hum from your source audio using Adobe Audition. Hum is a general term used to describe electrical interference in an audio signal, most commonly AC power leakage known as a ground loop, which, depending on what part of the world you live in, consists of a fundamental frequency of 60 Hz or 50 Hz, followed by a series of multiples of that frequency known as harmonics. Whether or not we knew what to call it, most of us have heard this type of audio issue at some point in our lives, but here's a quick example, which I filtered a little bit to cut down on the nastiness. Now, this type of problem can be eliminated or at least minimized on the way in through the use of isolation transformers, ground lift switches, and the like, but what if you end up with an important audio clip for a post-production project with a ground loop embedded in it? Well, that's where Adobe Audition's dehummer plugin comes in. Check out this example of an acoustic guitar that was recorded with some sort of grounding issue. For best results, make sure to use headphones or speakers with decent bass response to fully appreciate the 60 Hz fundamental. <laughs> It's subtle, but you can definitely hear the ground hum in the background. We're going to filter that out using Audition's Dehummer, which can be found under the Effects, Noise Reduction, and Restoration submenu. Those of you with audio experience will notice that the Dehummer effect is really just a series of band reject or notch filters arranged in an even harmonic series, also known as a comb filter for its comb-like appearance. For us Murricans, the default setting is going to be pretty much the way to go for ground hum, because as you can see, the fundamental frequency is set to 60 Hz. However, I always adjust the gain to 0 decibels to start so as to hear the effect acting on the signal as I pull the gain back down. Now, what's going to happen when I do this is that the dehummer is going to attenuate 60 Hz and its harmonics until the hum effectively goes away. It's important to note that while you do this, you are in fact destructively processing the audio, so it's important to bring the gain down gradually until you find that sweet spot where the hum is gone but the timbre of the sound is not negatively affected. This may require a fair amount of trial and error, playing with the gain, cue, and harmonic slope controls to get it dialed in correctly, always ABing it with the original signal for reference. Once you're satisfied with the settings, simply click Apply to process the audio, and you are good to go. You'll notice that the annoying hum is no more. There is, however, a fair amount of background noise still present, but we'll save noise reduction for another video. Thanks for joining me on another audio tutorial, guys. It truly has been a humbling experience making these for you. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what other audio topics you'd like to see covered in the future.